What is the most important rule of successful investors? I have seen so many people promoting one super stock that apparently makes you rich overnight. The truth is that all these people ended in misery. They lost their money, their time and hope. I never met anybody being that smart to pick the needle out of the haystack. Successful investors' most important rule is very simple. You have to diversify your investments and risks. This video shows why risk diversification is the most important rule of successful investors. Stay tuned! Hello, I'm Enzo Caputo in partnership with Tukascopi TV. I am the international private banking lawyer, the owner of the boutique law firm Caputo & Partners and the founder of SwissBankingLawyers.com, the place where successful international business people find tips and solutions to protect their assets and make more money. If you invest in one stock, your investment risk is concentrated in this one stock. That's a cluster risk and you can lose your total investment. The best way to manage investment risk is to learn about asset allocation and asset diversification. Educate yourself. Do not be a financial illiterate. Asset allocation is the technical term for how you distribute your money across different types of investments. The question is in which baskets you distribute your eggs in. Don't put all of your eggs in one basket. Typical baskets are equities, fixed income, cash or cash equivalents, precious metals, real estate, art, antiques. The technical term for baskets is asset classes. Before you decide the asset class, you should ask yourself how much time you have before using your money. How comfortable are you with taking risk and how your current financial situation is. Diversification means finding the right mix with the right number of eggs distributed in different baskets. It's absolutely crucial to not invest in one company, in one industry, in one country, in one bank, in one building, in one jurisdiction, in one currency, in one banking system, in one anything. Diversification protects you from mistakes and unexpected events. Do not invest in investments you not fully understand. Avoid hedge funds options and futures if you are not familiar with such instruments. Invest exclusively in high quality companies offering regular dividend payouts. Your investment should be liquid. Liquid means that you can sell your investment immediately on the same day. Transfer a substantial part of your assets out of the influence of your country of residence and out of your home jurisdiction. The more successful you will be, the more enemies you will have including your own government. Don't forget, not everyone has good intentions with you. Don't keep your physical gold in the safe deposit box of your bank in your home jurisdiction. It's much better to diversify for better asset protection. Keep it out of the banking system in a secure jurisdiction like Switzerland. Ensure and maintain direct physical access and property to your physical gold, always out of the banking system. Diversify with gold bars and different size and liquid gold coins like one ounce Canadian gold maple leaf, one ounce South African Krugerrand or one ounce Wiener Philharmoniker. There are many asset managers in YouTube having recognized that the diversification of investment is crucial for asset protection. Most of the asset managers in the USA are focused on US investments only taking place in the United States of America. Their investment horizon stops at US borders. Not one word about diversification and asset protection with offshore banking facilities. US asset managers have forgotten that in the year 1933, President Francis Delano Roosevelt issued an executive order based on the Banking Emergency Act forbidding the hoarding of gold coins and gold bullions within the territory of the United States of America. Hoarding of physical gold was declared illegal and sanctioned with $10,000 fine and imprisonment until 10 years. $10,000 was a lot of money at that time. In case of the next financial crisis, every government can introduce such a banking emergency act overnight. This can happen everywhere, in all jurisdictions. Swiss asset managers are much more globally oriented. International diversification is a commandment in the Bible 
for a classic Swiss asset manager. Smart US investors are coming back to Switzerland and investing their money with Swiss banks. What is the Swiss bank account opening minimum balance? The majority of Swiss banks in the private banking industry ask for a minimum balance of 500,000 Swiss francs. Why? The answer is that it will be difficult to diversify properly your investments with 100,000 Swiss francs only. In order to achieve a minimal diversification with direct investments in share and bonds, the minimal account should be 500,000 Swiss francs. Otherwise, the alternative is to invest in investment funds. Unfortunately, funds are expensive and can destroy the performance of the client. Diversification will not eliminate all of your risks, but it's a smart and proven way to manage your risks and better protect your assets, including offshore banking for rainy days. Diversify your assets with the safest Swiss banks and independent best-in-class asset managers. I'm happy to help you find the safest Swiss bank and the best-in-class asset manager who is familiar with well-diversified value investments. A Swiss bank account professionally diversified is mandatory for successful investors. Insider information just like this cannot be found in universities, in libraries and not in the internet. If you like information just like this, make sure to not miss the future videos with me as your Swiss banking lawyer in Scaputo in partnership with Tukascopy TV. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel now. Click the subscribe button and ring the bell. Be rich and stay rich. Have a wonderful day.